something that happens all the time is that I have clients message me with questions like this. So what happens all the time is situations like this. One of my female clients, her son, found her big book, was reading it, and he was filled with questions, and she was freaking out. So how do you talk to kids about your sobriety? Stay tuned as we go over this topic. What's up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. So I have been working in a treatment center for the last two years and I have a ton of parents come through and since I'm a father I have a lot of them say how do I talk to my kids about this how do I talk to my kids about this now something that I will cover in another video is talking to kids about addiction because there is a specific way that you're supposed to talk to kids um, because as as all of you know who are in recovery like just having somebody point their finger at you and say don't do drugs like doesn't do much good if it did guys like me wouldn't have become addicted but this video is talking about when you get clean how do you talk to your children about getting clean all right so this is one of my clients and uh because of anonymity as well as hipaa laws i'm not going to show her face or name but she messaged me with this so holy crap chris i don't know what to do my kiddo was super uh quiet for like one and a half hours i went into his room and he was reading my friggin big book now he has questions and i don't know what to say I don't know if this has ever happened to any of you. It never happened to me. Maybe, maybe it was because I was proactive. But anyways, so uh, this gave me the idea like I needed to make this video. So I was telling her I would make a video. And what a lot of my clients do, like a lot of my subscribers are people in recovery and they stay tuned because I'm always giving suggestions like this. So she was a little confused that I didn't have a Rolodex covering this topic, but she inspired me. So thank you, girl. Um, and then she says, Ugh, I'd rather have the birds and the bees convo. Like, a lot of us can relate to that. Like, it's uncomfortable. We don't want to talk about it. And a lot of this is because of the stigma around addiction. And check out my other video, which will be linked up in the info card, about don't be ashamed of your mental illness. That is one step closer towards healing yourself as well as strengthening your recovery. Don't be embarrassed about this thing. Would you be embarrassed telling your child that you got the flu, that you broke a leg, broke an arm, as long as you didn't do those things while you were drunk or high? But start thinking of it in that aspect. So my personal experience is that I moved to California when my son was three years old. And I stayed there for a little over a year while I was working on myself and my sobriety. I am very fortunate that my son does not remember that period of time when I was gone getting my act together. But when I got this job at my treatment center, we do events and we've done suicide prevention walks or we do fun stuff like go bowling or to the water park or to other events out here in Las Vegas and I bring them along. So there came a point when I was like, I need to talk to this kid about what I do for a living and what addiction is. So I've been working there for about two years now. So when I started working there, my son was six, he's now eight. And I took him by my rehab facility. We have a gigantic inpatient facility that has like 150 beds. And then we also have an outpatient building. Um, but I took him there and I was basically explaining to him in an age appropriate way, what I do for a living. And I explained to him, I said, I work at this place, it's kind of like a hospital, sick people come here and I help them. And I explained to him, their sickness is different than the sickness that you normally hear about. Their sickness is up here. So my first suggestion is talk about it in an age appropriate way. I will give you an example. This is literally the conversation I had with my son. I asked him, I said, you know how you like chocolate? And of course he says yes. And I said, now, what happens if you eat a lot of chocolate? If you eat way too much chocolate, he says, I get sick. I said, okay, so you know that eating too much chocolate makes you sick. Now, imagine for a second that you couldn't stop yourself from eating chocolate once you had some chocolate. I said, this is the problem that some people have once they drink alcohol or use drugs. Once they start, they can't stop. So part of my job is to teach them how to do that in different ways because that's what I had to do. And I explained to him, I said, remember how I was gone for about a year in California and he's a little foggy on that. But I explained to him, I said, I have that problem too. That's why you never see me drinking and you never see me doing drugs because once I start, I can't stop. And it made sense to him. Like that's all I had to do. It was really that simple. 
And to calm down my client's nerves, I drug my son in here. I recorded a quick video, sent it to her, and she was like, oh, I feel a lot better. So now I'm going to treat all of you with that same thing. All right, everybody, this is my mini me. Go ahead and introduce yourself to him. Hi, my name's Dylan. That is Dylan. Say hi, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. All right, so Dylan, how old are you? Eight. Eight. About, about nine. Almost nine, okay. So his birthday's coming up on New Year's Eve, which is like five seconds after Christmas. But yeah, anyways. So we're talking about addiction today. So let me just ask you some questions based on what I've taught you about addiction. So how old were you two years ago? Six. Six years old. My boy knows math. All right, and that's when I first started talking to him about this. So I bring you to my events with the people I work with, right? Yeah. And they... Not all the time. Not all the time. Okay, right. But anyways, but they struggle with addiction. Are they bad people? No. Are they evil? No. Are they crazy? No. <laughs> it took a second. Some of them are a little crazy, but all of us are. If you do <laughs> drugs, then yeah. It yeah. Kind of, it, it triggers something. It triggers something. Beautiful. All right, so what do I do at my work, at my rehab? You um, help people cut off their addiction of drugs. And? Alcohol. Alcohol. All right, cool. Because what happens when they take drugs or alcohol? Um, oh, they get sick. They get sick. But that doesn't mean they're bad people, right? No. Because a lot of them are parents, aren't they? Yeah, so and they may um, uh, do what you did. Um, you may... You may, they may lose their uh, wife or um, something, and they may have to go live somewhere else. Yeah. Else. And like you, you got really sick when you did drugs. Exactly. But am I a good dad? Yeah. Have you met some of the other people who are parents? Are they pretty good parents? Right? So, so it, was it weird? Was it crazy when I talked to you about this stuff? Kind of. Kind of? Why was it crazy? When, when you first told me about your job, then I, and I didn't really, I was young, then I, I kind of thought I was kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's normal now, right? Yeah. I just help sick people out, right? Right. So. It's good. It's good, right? Give me a high five. All right. It's just that simple, everybody. All right, Dylan, say bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, it's really not a big deal. We talk openly, we talk freely. That kid is eight years old, and it's not that big of a deal. Something that us addicts and alcoholics struggle with is we make these huge situations out of very small things. This is a very normal conversation. And to be honest, like most of you know, I am in the business of addiction and mental health advocacy, and I believe that we need to increase awareness and decrease the stigma, and we're never going to do that if we don't have these very simple conversations with our kids. It's not a big deal. Now, there is a whole nother video that I need to do about how people like me and some of you parents out there, all we do is worry about, oh my God, is my kid going to become a drug addict or alcoholic? Ah, right? And that's a whole nother video and I'll teach you some lessons as to how I overcome that on a daily basis. Question of the day. Have you talked to your kids about your sobriety? How'd it go? What did you say to them? Leave your comments down below. I want to find out. So if you like this video, if you would like me to do more topics like this for parents, please give this a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, if you're a parent, leave them in the comments below. Like, please ask me questions so I can help provide you with more solutions. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that little round subscribe button so you're always the first to know when I make new videos like this, providing you with solutions to overcome symptoms of mental illness, as well as to improve your addiction recovery. Thanks for watching. This is Chris, and I'll see you next time.